Food is a big thing in our culture and in many other cultures around the world. Today, we will be looking at some facts of some systems that were established to produce food with me, Chris Reyes. I did a little research and now we will be looking at an ancient food production system and a modern food production system and we will be uncovering this today on Food Production with Chris. The ancient Egyptian civilization is known for its power and longevity. They lived in the middle of the desert, but they had something special that allowed their land to be fertile and abundant, the Nile River. The Egyptian calendar had three seasons based on the Nile River's cycles. The first season was a Akets. No farming was done this season. They just allowed the fields to be irrigated and allowed the soil to become fertile for the following season, Peretz. This season lasted from October to February and this season is the growing season. The flooding is over and the fertile soil would be plowed and seeded. Then the next season would come into play, which is Shemu. And this season runs from March to May. This is the harvest season. It is time to cut down all the full-grown crops and get the canals ready once again for a Ketz, the flooding season. The ancient Egyptians grew what their land was able to produce. Wheat, eggs, onions, leeks, garlic, cucumbers, melons, and grain. Grain was big in Egypt. It was used for porridge, bread, and beer. And it was grown right after inundation season before any other plants was grown. Most of the labor in Egypt would go towards horticulture, the vineyards, gardens, and orchards. So these things were so distant from the Nile, they had to be irrigated manually. Egyptians made tools such as the shaduf to make water collection from the Nile more practical. The ease of production the Nile gave the Egyptians made the civilization a great food producing civilization. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Let's talk a bit about fast food. What do we know about it? What are some good things about it? Well, it's convenient, it tastes great, there's a variety, and it's cheap. So what are some negative things about it? Well, it's unhealthy, workers are not paid enough, and fast foods customers forget about natural, unprocessed foods. Recently, instead of taking time to cook and make food, we wanted something more convenient and cheap. It is cheap because of mass production and the amount of payment their employees receive. Because of these reasons, fast food was born. Because of the demand, fast food grew into multi-billion dollar corporations where each corporation operates thousands and thousands of locations all over the world. To meet the demand, hundreds of acres of monoculture fields such as potato fields are made for these corporations. Meaning that everything else in that field is eliminated to grow what we want and as a result we are changing the environment. It is also changing the human population with higher rates of obesity over the years. Now. Fast food is one of the leading food production systems in the world. There are huge differences between the ancient Egyptian civilization and our modern fast food production system. One, everything the Egyptians produced was natural and unprocessed unlike fast food. Two, fast food produces for everyone they can produce for, while the ancient Egyptians produced for themselves. Three, ancient Egyptians used manpower to produce their food while fast food mostly uses machines. Four, the Egyptians used their available resources and adapted to their land to produce food instead of modifying it like fast food corporations do. Like I said, these two systems have a difference. But even if we live in a world where fast food rules, there are still food production systems that put our environment into consideration. All right, we're gonna start heading off into Maya's farm. I got my little bandana, I got the camera ready. We're gonna start heading out, so let's go, all right? Well, the mission is to educate people about the reality of what a small farm can be. It can be a community gathering space, it can be an education space, it can be a healing space, it can be a place where people come and begin to recognize what the difference is between store-bought food and farm fresh food. Being at Maya's farm was a peaceful, blissful experience. I could definitely feel a very harmonious effect on me whenever I took in the scenery, sounds, and smells. Maya's farm is a farm that uses a farming process called biodynamic farming, which is, according to biodynamics.com, a spiritual, ethical, ecological approach to agriculture, food production, and nutrition. Maya stated that they do not use any chemical-based fertilizers, 
GMO seeds or anything that isn't from the ground. Everything they grow is completely organic and everything used to help grow is completely organic as well. They are both a biodynamic and a certified organic farm. Financially sustainable is because um, we work hard enough to get out of the ground what we grow. I have no financial backing, I have no loans, I have no partners as far as the financial structure of the business. So the business is what we grow and what we sell. So the money that comes to us from this business is by reaping what we sell, salad. For some reason, when I came to the farm, I immediately felt welcome. They were happy to allow me to shoot the footage I needed, to do the interview, and especially to help out with the farm work needed to be done. We helped with picking habaneros, pulling out plants, weeding, and spraying the field with stuff. So is this food production system sustainable? Well, they impact the community in a positive way, they sustain themselves financially, and they do everything they can to be in harmony with nature because they satisfy society, economy, and the environment. They are a sustainable food production system that will be able to continue their operation with a bright future. Original promise, original work could predict this reality chip if you told them my impotence limited me for a moment Believing and hoping to different approach and I eagerly coasted through leashes and vultures Now the reason I'm focused, you might see in a moment Yeah, check them out, he checks those lists now Keep cashing checks to a second account, they'll leash this pre